OK, so you want to be able to insert a tick into a Microsoft Word document. There are two types of ticks that are readily available. You've got your basic tick here, and then you've got a tick in a box. Let's see how we can do this. Now, to get either tick, you need to go to the Insert tab on your ribbon, right over to the right-hand side here to the Symbol button. Go to More Symbols. Change your font to Wingdings. Mine's already set to Wingdings. And then in the character code box, just type 252. And that will select the basic tick. And you'll also see there's the tick in a the box there. And if you want to go straight to that one, you would type 254 in the character code box. So if I go back to this basic tick and I click on insert, I get a tick in my document. I'll close this insert dialog box down. Now, obviously, you can make it bigger. If I select it, go to home and use the increase font size button, I can increase the size of the tick. I could also change its color. Now, if you're readily adding a tick to your document, you can go to insert symbol and you'll see that recently used symbols appear directly in this menu here. But there are some other ways of quickly inserting symbols. If we go back to more symbol, again, I'm going to search for my tick 252. And what I can do down here is I can create an autocorrect entry for this tick. So if I click on the autocorrect button, and what you can do here is enter a memorable text string that will automatically be replaced with a tick. So for example, you might say TCK. It's unlikely that you're gonna type TCK into a document, but if you do now, it'll automatically be replaced with a tick. So there's my replace item, there's my with item. I click on add, click on okay, click on close. And if I now type TCK and then a space, I automatically get a tick. Now, another method is to use a shortcut key. And there is an inbuilt shortcut key for the tick. It's Alt-0252. Now, you need to use your numeric keypad for this. And what you do is you hold down Alt on your main keypad, then type 0252 on your numeric keypad, let go of Alt, and you'll get a very strange character. Now, the reason you're getting that strange character is because you need to change the font. So you select that strange character, go up to your font menu, and then from this list, select Wingdings, and you get your tick. Now, another way we could do this, and probably a better way, is to go back to the Insert dialog box. So that's Insert, Symbol, More Symbols. Again, search for your tick. And here we can assign a shortcut key. So if I click on the shortcut key button, what I can do here is specify a custom shortcut key. So if I use Control Shift T, what it does tell me is that that shortcut key is currently assigned to unhang. And if you're not bothered with that, or we're not, we can assign that shortcut key and it will be saved to the normal template. So it's available whenever you use the normal template in Word, which is the default template. So if I click on OK, and then close and now use Control shift t i get the tick now the other option is to have bullet points with the tick so if i go to home go to this bullet points button and then choose this tick here now when i type i automatically get ticks next to each item okay that's basically all i wanted to cover in this particular video hopefully that's useful if it is please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you next video